Hi, here with my uh, old original 1300 watt hour 84 volt ACM. Bought this from Speedy Feet over a year ago. It's when the first 84 volt wheels came out. It's been through a lot. Uh, it's been through two rebuilds. First rebuild was when I burned out the motor and control board when riding up a overly steep long hill. And then fairly recently I tore it apart again so I could tighten the um, axle nuts on the shims. Then I sold it to a local rider and within a few days uh, the axle was broken and kind of kind of thought maybe that uh, I'd sold him a bad wheel so um, I gave him his money back and got the wheel back. Of course once I got it back I saw that the, the trolley handle was torn from the shell. It's got a nice bend here. So he broke the axle. Um, oh well, what are you going to do? So I decided to try and uh, turn lemons into lemonade. And uh, I'm going to rebuild it again. So I got from E-Wheels, thank you Jason, uh, ACM2 motor. And then I, I got the corresponding ACM2 control board. So I'm going to totally tear this apart, put those components in. I'm going to repaint the shell, give it an interesting color. I'm also going to uh, replace the tire. This is an experiment. I might, I don't know if I'll keep it, but um, this will be really good, I think, for trail riding in the mountains. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to mostly dedicate this wheel for uh, mountain riding. I'm not going to uh, show you everything I'm going to do here. There's so many videos out there in ACM, uh, you know, tearing down the ACMs, building them up, including some of my videos. But I, I will show you some of the highlights as I proceed. All right, well, my wheel is totally disassembled, and I uh, thought I'd show you what a broken axle looks like. All right, let's... So that's it. It's pretty, pretty thin metal. But really, overall, these axles do hold up pretty well. But I guess maybe if you're really heavy wider and you do a lot of jumping, that can happen. And here is the new motor. And I just wanted to show you the comparison. Look at the size of the axle. At least the nut. So this is a 21 millimeter nut and the new motor is a 23, takes a 23 millimeter nut. So uh, it's quite a bit beefier. And I have uh, confirmed that the wires coming out of here are definitely a thicker gauge. Um, so all is good. I can't, I can't imagine this uh, axle breaking under normal use. And I just wanted to show you a view of the new tire that I mounted on the motor. And there will be a link to to where I bought this in the description below on the video. should be interesting. I'm really hoping this is going to be uh, great for trail riding. It surely looks grippy. Okay, now that I'm ready to start reassembling the new ACM, it came up with came across my first roadblock. And that's this. This is the pedal hanger from the ACM. And uh, this new thicker axle won't fit. Now I did drill out this hole so I can actually uh, get the axle through, but then the nut won't fit through here. And even if it did, these the shims that go in here like this, there's, uh, there's just not enough space for the shims and the, the axle. So once again, Jason at uh, E-Wheels is coming to the rescue. He actually has some extra um, pedal hangers for the Tesla. Now, I'm um, going to get those any day now, I think. 
unfortunately, I'm, well, I'm not sure, if, I'm hoping that the Tessa brackets will fit in the shell. Um, if not, I guess I have to get a special order in for the ACM2 pedal hangers. So uh, you'll see that next. Okay, well, while I'm waiting for the new pedal hangers, I'm going to work on the shell. So you can see new color. I decided to um, give this re reborn ACM a new new paint job. It's kind of a copper look. We'll see how it looks in the sun when I get it finished. Now you can see what's happening with this and when I rebuilt this the last time I I made reference to the fact that I, saw, I was seeing cracks in uh, in this area and this is what uh, the pedal hanger goes in here like this and it's falling apart. The other side of the shell looks good but I have cracks here, here, this is really bad you can see you know, not good. The rest of the shell looks looks fine so I'm going to try and save that, save this. That's what I'm going to work on next. I have some uh, half inch aluminum bar stock and what I'm going to do is fabricate three brackets which are going to basically the, the bolts that go into this hanger they're going to go through this and then I'm going to, I'm going to so this will be attached to the, the hanger and then these are going to be bent and attached to the shell with bolts so I'm going to have three here here and here so I'm going to bolt them and, and epoxy them to the shell and I'm hoping that will be good enough and when you're riding the wheel the vast majority of the force is is on the pedal, which is attached to the motor. So the the, the screws from the shell into this really just support the. I mean, the, I guess the the weight of the battery is really, and um, so I'm hoping that this aluminum straps will work, and then the, with the combination that the shell is attached to the other half, which is firmly attached to the pedal. I think it's going to work. In worst case, if it doesn't, uh, I guess I'll have to buy a new shell. All right, had a slight change of plans regarding these brackets. So when I last talked about the problem with the brackets, uh, that they wouldn't, um, you know, these these are my uh, original ACM brackets, and you might be able to see that this hole is smaller than this hole, and this was too small to fit the axle and then when I drilled this out to fit through the axle this was too small to uh, fit the shims around the axle. So talking with Jason he was going to get me some more um, uh, different pedal hangers but uh, he had some problems on, on his end and uh, he, apparently he had a access to a Tesla motor with the brackets already installed they came from a I guess a parts wheel and um, so we did a swap and he sent me motor with these attached which is nice uh, so I don't have to deal with reassembling that and um, one other item that I had to the care, which I didn't think about at the time when I talked to you last about this, was that um, the new ACM and many of the wheels from Gotway now for the last six plus months, they've been using this plate. This is a steel plate. As you can tell, it's all rusted out. This is from a, a Yoshi's ACM that I um, took parts from that he gave me, the one he burned up. On. <laughs> so this was in the ocean. So this steel plate, you can see, has this um, this cutout that perfectly matches the shape of the axle. So when this is mounted here, and then this is what gets attached to the axle, this now constrains the, 
the axle within the bracket and keeps it from being able to twist. Before, the axle would be penetrating here and it could provide rotational forces on the shims and, you know, over time destroy the shims. Now with this in place, that can't happen. So this is on all the Gotway, current Gotway wheels, so I would really expect that we're not going to be seeing many um, loose, distorted shims in the future. But I didn't have that. Well, actually I did have it, but then of course, as soon as I tried using it, you know, this new thicker axle wouldn't fit. So I need to get that, this too. Uh, which Jason didn't have. But this wheel uh, saves the day. Thanks again, Jason. So it's all ready to go. I mounted my, uh, remounted my uh, new tire, and um, it's time to reassemble the wheel. So um, I'll show you that in a second. back from a 20 or so mile mountain ride in my uh, mountain proving grounds and uh, worked like a charm. And uh, yeah, so now I have a dedicated uh, mountain trail uh, rider. Uh, ACM2 stout axle. Love the power. And uh, the, the trail uh, wheel works really nice, and you can hear how loud it is when uh, on the pavement. Um, most of my riding with this wheel is going to be in the trail, so otherwise I think the, the tread on this wheel will probably get wore, wore down pretty quick. Anyway, I'll, I'll post a separate video for uh, the trail riding if any of you guys want to see it. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.